PDAC 2023, I'm with Jamie, tour from Fjordland Exploration. Jamie, how are you today? I'm good, Tracy. Thanks for having me. We were just talking about how hot the, the Australian market is right now. Do you think that's actually correct? Well, yeah. I mean, I've had someone come by our booth from Perth looking for Canadian businesses to take over to Australia because they're looking for things and we're extremely undervalued in Canada. So their lithium, their nickel projects, uh, you just have to look at the index. It, their market values are substantially higher, like multiples, 10, 100 times more than anything that we're trading at here. Well, we know you're correct. We just finished doing another interview with a mineral fund expert, and they were talking exactly about this. Now, with regards to the market right now, you're currently critical minerals. You have a lot of expertise in rare earths, for instance. Well, that's, that's our focus at Fjordland is, is critical minerals. You can call it battery minerals if you want. We're looking at minerals that will you know, drive the economy uh, going forward, the, the new economy if you want. Um, not interested in, uh, in, in precious metals um, because I, I just think that uh, it's going to be that much harder to build a mine, a precious metal mine. But when you go to a funding, uh, to get funding for nickel, lithium, graphite, uh, you name it, um, you can tell a great story because you have to mine those if we want to have batteries, if we want to have you know, the electrification that we're looking for. We need copper and we need graphite, we need nickel, lithium. So how else are we going to get it unless we mine it? So that, that has to be the basis of, of how we move mines forward. I've known Jamie for a number of years. He's one of the the veterans in the industry with a lot of experience. And I was also having an interview with SME's president, Mark Levier, who was talking about the real issue for, that they're identifying is the shortage of talent. And as a talented professional with real experience, how are you building your team? Like, are you dealing with some of these challenges? Well, you know, I think we're lucky compared to say like a biotech company. A biotech company would have to bring all their talent in-house and keep them there. As miners and exploration people, we can hire outside. There's consultants all over the place. And so if you're doing a project, you'll, you'll bring in geos to, to run that field program. You'll bring in drillers. You'll bring in the personnel that you need. So you can really run these businesses without having to have a lot of in-house pay, uh, payable. So, I mean, it keeps you meaner and leaner and allows you to do what you need to do. And it, from our point of view right now, we're at this, we're, we're early stage, right? We're, we're trying to identify projects and we're trying to do that, the groundwork uh, to get us to the next stage. Um, and to that point, for example, lithium. You know, we've, I put lithium on our banner downstairs at our booth um, because we just staked, for 10 grand, we staked um, some potential lithium projects in Quebec. I was doing some work, I found an old map that showed white pegmatite. White pegmatites are indicative of spodumene type deposits in the rest of Quebec. Um, it wasn't on the government computer maps. Everyone typically will sit back and just look at the computer and see where the government said pegmatites are. These weren't on there, so we staked them. And so we'll go for get a crew together, and we'll go look for white pegmatites and spodumene in Quebec this summer. So that's an example of the things that we're doing picking up old deposits, old mines, um, and trying to extrapolate deposits from there. That's Jamie Tour from Fjordland Exploration. For more information, please go to their website. And Jamie, thank you for the update. Great, thanks.